This could get interesting. So much Technora. <laughs> What up, Flo fam? Welcome back to my channel. My name's Lux Luminous, and today we are going to be doing something a little special. And no, it's not hanging out with my cat. <laughs> Though she does like hanging out. Today we are going to be doing a what's in my bag challenge, but of course we are going to do it flow art style. So what's in my prop bag? I have not cleaned this thing out since last festival season. I don't even know what's in my bag right now, so this should definitely be interesting to say the least. So of course I'm going to tag a couple of my favorite uh, flow arts content creators. So I'm passing the challenge off to Ken Hill as well as Etheria. So y'all, I want to know what's in your bag. And anybody else who wants to join in on the fun, just tag me on social media. I think this could be a lot of fun and I'm very interested to see what people also have in their prop bags. And of course, if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel, give it a like, leave me a comment, and don't forget to hit those notification bells. That way you get notified when I post new content. And of course, we also have the wizards of the channel. And the wizards of the channel are Flow Toys, Astral Hoops, Matrix Fire Safety, Fun and Motion Toys, The Weaving Witch, and Pyroterra Light Toys. Thanks, friends. <laughs> All right, well, let's go ahead and jump into it. So I got my bag here. This is my bag from Modek. I don't know if they're still making bags anymore. Um, but their bags are amazing. Cassandra Morrison is the bee's knees. So yeah, let's let's see what's in this bad boy. It's like way too heavy for its own good. So let's go ahead and open the large pack here and show you what I got inside. Oh. All right, so um, in my bags, I usually carry at least three or four wands with me wherever I go. It's usually, you know, one fire wand, because you never know. Oh, oh, we got tangles. Oh, you know why, why it's all tangled? It's because this was not on there, right? Life hack for love you wanders. Always have a hair tie handy, because these things are amazing to just stick your strings on here, so that way you don't have any issues with your ball handles getting all tangled up. So I have my regular practice wand. This is actually also a LED lovey wand, but I usually don't use it as an LED wand. So I have my fire, my practice wand, and then I have my LED wand that I love to use. This one is from Flow Toys, of course. It's the Vision Contact Wand, it's awesome. This one is from Flow on Fire. I love the gecko grip, it's amazing. It sticks to you. It's great. And then actually this one is also from Flow on Fire. What is all this string? Why do I have so much extra string? See, this is the first time I've gone through my bag in a while. So there might be a lot of like festival grime in here, which is not surprising. So I have all three of these lovey ones in here. Cause you never know. You never know what you're gonna run into. <laughs> so we're gonna zip it up, but we have more pockets. This thing has pockets for days. All right, so let's get into the juicy bits. <laughs> This is too funny. So the first thing out of here that is a must have is my Matrix Fire Blanket. This is great. I love how thin they are. So I always like have it in my prop bag because it's so lightweight and so like thin and just rolls right up and I shove it in my pocket. And you know, if I'm gonna go spin fire, I am never without safety. And safety is extremely important. Extremely important. Hmm. All right, let's see what else we got in here. So these are my fire sleeves and my fire gloves. These are super important. The way I love you wand is very uh, not fire friendly. So having extra protection for my hands and arms allows me to do more contact stuff, which you know I'm about. I'll leave links in the description down below so that way you guys can you know, get these things if you wanna get them as well. But I definitely recommend fire gloves and stuff it is good because then you can like grab the fire and I don't know. It's it's fun. I love it. All right, let's see what else is in here. Ooh. Well then, we'll just put that back in here. You know, safety comes in many forms, my friends. <laughs> let's go on to the next pocket. Oh, we have a clown nose. So, you know, you never know when you're gonna need a clown nose and it's really important <laughs> to not have one, but two for a buddy. Cause cloud business is very important business. Okay, all right, so here are my trashy, trashy Ziploc bags. Kimmy, are you helping? You look like you're helping. 
So this is ice fishing line. So I usually bring a lot of string with me wherever I go because I like to help people replace the string on their lovey wands if they need it. Kim. So if you ever see me and you need extra string, let me know because I always have some, almost always. So I have ice fishing line for regular contact wands. Uh, and then of course I have a crap ton of Technora, which that's important. Do you want the string? Do you want the Technora? Do you want the Technora? Oh, get the Technora. Yeah, yeah, Kim. <laughs> I love you. So other things that I have in this bag, an empty Ziploc, but I also always carry business cards with me. Those are essential if you're a performer. Always make sure that you have your business cards on you and hopefully in better shape than mine. <laughs> These are little bent up from over the years. And then of course I have uh, business cards from sponsors that I have as well as some stickers. So if you guys ever want a sticker or anything, I usually have those too. All right, let's see what else is in here. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we have more business cards. We have a finger loop. Extra finger loops are always good to have as well as ball handles because you never know. Oh, so this is, <laughs> so this is a whole pack of hair ties. Like I was saying at the beginning, um, you always want to have a bunch of hair ties on you because then you can wrap up your lovey wand ball handles and finger loops so that way when you're storing them or traveling with them you don't have all the string being tangled up with all the other wands. Serious life hack because then I just put them on my wrist and I wear them like a normal normal human being and then when I'm done I just wrap it up and good to go. All right let's see here. So we have some self-adhesive silicone here, uh, white and clear. I always like to have extra silicone on me in case I need to repair something on my lovey wands. It's always really smart to have extras of that. I got batteries. <laughs> I have more Technora. I have charging cables for my LED lovey wands. More string, more batteries. Let's see here, last pocket, we have a cliff bar. Always good to have energy, my friends. Always good. You're so cute. All right, and then I also have my headlamp. Headlamps, yo, these are super important to have for festival life. Especially, you know, running around trying to figure out like if your fuel can is secured safely or you're trying to find a prop in the dark. Headlamps, man, these are freaking great. I usually carry around a small pair of scissors as well so I can cut things up when I need to. But of course, like flying around, you can't really have scissors. And I like to carry my wands on as a carry-on. TSA doesn't like, like little scissors. So I think the last scissors I had actually got jacked from them. Jerks. All right, well that's like all the things that I carry in my prop bag. I'm super curious to find out what you guys find essential that you carry in your prop bags. So definitely tag me on the social medias. I want to see everybody's prop bags. Like, let's go. <laughs> I think this is really cute and a lot of fun. So let's have fun together. Alrighty friends, if you're new or lurking, welcome to the wand life. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions at all, always leave me a comment down below and I will help you out. And of course, this video is brought to you by my beautiful Patreon supporters. If you want to become a Patreon supporter, you can head on over to my Patreon, where you can be involved in different things on my channel, or you can head on over to my website, luxluminous.com, where I have lots of fun Florence related clothing, and every single bit of the money raised goes directly into funding this channel. Fire safety is super important. Finger guns. <laughs> See you all on the wand side.